welcome back to my channel so in this tutorial we are we will be using postman to see the workflow of oauth 2.4 for this we will use imager website api which is an online imaging sharing community you can also use any other company's api which uses oauth 2 flow so but before uh, before that let's just see what happens when we hit the secure endpoint without authorization so for that i'm going to send a request and let me copy the request which i pasted over here this is my request i'm taking it and putting it over here and just hit it without authorization so you can see that error is authorization required the status you can see that it's a 401 okay so that means this is the error which we get you know when we are doing without authorization so let's see how to generate access token using OAuth 2 in Postman. Okay, so uh, now we can see. So before that, generating this, you know, uh, we have to do a registration. First, sign up to Imager website and then go to the following URL to register your application. Make sure you are logged to Imager using your username and password. So let's uh, get it done. This. So I am over here. Okay, I have already. Uh, credentials so i'm just using these credentials so so you can first you have to create your client okay after that over here you have to provide a url which is so auth to slash add client postman so auth to let me see API dot OAuth at client. So this is the URL where you are what you are going to do. You are uh, get fetching a client ID and the uh, secrets which we require to generate the OAuth token access token for that. Okay. So this is how you can do that. So let me give the name. Uh, so this is the name which I am giving it OAuth two and Authorization, there are different authorization types. So we are going to use OAuth2 authorization with a callback URL. Okay, and I'm giving this URL. You will get this, either you can generate this, you create your own URL or you can ask your development development team or you can see the API or documentation. So you can get this. So over here, I can give my URL over here, the email ID. So basically what I'm doing, I'm providing this detail to generate the client ID so when I click on this this will provide me a client ID and my client secret which I am going to use it to generate an access token so basically what we have done we use callback URL is used to know the registered address of the application from which you will be calling the imager API okay so this is how you're going to register by using callback URL you are registering your application where from you are calling the API okay and remember that this should be same in both application and the server this is the register server address of the application from which you will be calling right so this is what we have used now let's do that so this is the client ID and our client secret which we are going to use it okay now over here you can click on authorization over here in the type you have to select OAuth 2.0 now over here you can see the configure new token so on this i can give the name a demo token this is what i am giving you over here grant authentic authorization code you can see this is what i have used it but this this is the same url which we have given into our callback url so that is we have to use the same auth url this is my OAuth for tokenization uh, authorization this is for my token so these are the URLs okay this is the URL you can use this is client ID which I generated so let me use this because every time you generate it will change your client ID so that is why so let me share it I have changed it client client secret key I'm going to share over here this is what I have done send as a back basic auth header this is what I have done 
now when i going to click on get new access token it will ask me my credentials so this is credential i am giving to give this to the access this is what i have given when you click it it will ask you proceed when you click on this proceed button now you can see all the token details you can see what are the tokens i have created so let me delete the previous one so i have only one demo token this is my token name this is a access token this is a expiry here yeah, expiry in x scope we haven't defined a scope this is my account id this is my account user name so this is now when you now you have to click on the use token so when you click on this use token you can see that this is you have available these are the available token you can select the available token from over here now this is what we have used it so my access token is generated now let's execute this request again and we'll see the result so now you can see this is my result i can see the status 200 okay over here i can see the body over here so this is how we can use oauth to flow for uh, running our application right this is this is the way we can use it note uh, there is a one thing which you always need to remember you, you know when we got the correct status and found that our data is zero this means we were able to get into the server and access our account information through a third party application which was postman hence we were authorized using oauth 2.4 okay so this is how we can done so before whenever you require to generate authorization oauth 2 flow for your application okay you need to ask few questions from your app, uh, from your development team or you can look into the api documentation for that like your callback url which you need to generate authorization auth url access token url based on that you will receive client and the client secret and then you can generate your token and you can utilize it i hope you like this video and uh, for our channel motivation please just click on subscribe button like and share and don't forget to click on uh, bell bell icon so you can update with our new latest videos thank you very much